Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Bootsy and Edge Gamer 27 breaking you another video. You might be thinking, why Gran Turismo 4? Well, just kind of wanted to show you what Gran Turismo 4 is. I'm not gonna be playing through the game. I mean, I'm like freaking uh, 86.2% eight, eight, of the way done with this game. That's not what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna exit Gran Turismo mode. We're gonna be doing something that, you know, I mean, I guess would provide a little entertainment. We're gonna do arcade. My gosh, do I love this music. And I have all the courses unlocked. It feels good to do a video on this game. We're gonna be doing the world circuits first. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, the west course, I forgot about that. I forgot the west course exists in this game because I don't even think it gets used. So our first race is this place. So I get to Choose. Apparently, I don't have favorites. Uh, I'm obviously gonna start off with Toyota. Actually, you know, I'm gonna do Germany. I'm gonna do BMW. So let's see what car I wanna choose. I don't know what kind of accident it is. Some of these cars I do own, like this one and 3 CSL. Yes, let's, let's, let's use this. That's the car I use in the Dream Car Championship. Mm, let's do this. No, I want, I want some difficulty. There we go, Nurburgring. We will be doing arcade throughout this session. I'm excited to get to play Gran Turismo 4, I'm telling you, you know. Played this, I have not played this game in years. I almost wanted to cry because I managed to get my hands on this game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, these are, these are setting. Is there any like... Oh wait, I turned off traction control. Traction control. Let's go. <laughs> um, maybe just a little too much. 111 A spec points, that's not good. Oh Jesus, two laps. Uh, two laps, I just beat the World Circuit Tour today. Uh. I hope you can see the track well. Oh, the game. Well, let's give it a go. You never know. finally get to see me play this game. Don't worry, these are just... I'm not exactly sure where to find the... the favorites thing. We will be doing every course. This is also including the rally courses. Ugh. What a way to start off arcade with this place. Well, at least we're gonna get both the long courses done and out of the way. So I'm pretty much being put up against a bunch of TVRs. And an Aston Martin who's insanely slow. And get out of my way. I've already had enough stress today with the World Circuit Tour from Guna Seca being a massive troll. Because on the first lap, I spun out twice at turn six and at the exit of the corkscrew. And... Nope. No, 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 no. Wheel spin. Alright. I will be doing these quite frequent because there's so many courses and such and such to do. Some videos will be long, some will be short. This one will be long. Just the dirt, 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 
It's the freaking Nurburgring. What else do you expect? So, yeah. My next site is the 1,000 miles championship. Dear Lord. What am I going to do? I'll get it done. Don't worry. I, I didn't expect to be put up against four TVRs. The only TVR, well, there's two TVRs that are not uh, in this race. It's the Sarah Barrett Speed 12 and the, um, the V8S. My gosh. Big fail. Question though, why is there why why does there have to be that random slow car that just does not fit in with this competition? I mean it's pretty much BMW versus TVR, really. Four TVRs. This is exciting. Yay! I actually gotta do something real quick. All right, I changed the contrast. Let's see now, don't worry, I'll change it back. I think. Don't worry, it's not raining or anything. There is no rain in this game. God. The reason why I turned down the brightness on on the the game is just so you could see it better. Also, in every race in this game, it's not, it, I guess it's not in arcade mode, but there's a thing called tires, and it's called tire wear. Oh my gosh, when I did Infineon, I freaking, all my tires were orange after I won that race. Well, these TVRs are putting up a fight. Well, it did say 111 A spec points. I don't know if this actually counts towards A spec points. I wouldn't think so. I would assume it's just for the walls. But I'm finally happy that I'm ma making another Grand Trismo video right now. Oh, the Tomora is taking a second. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what that was. It was weird. Maybe for the shorter courses, I might use slower cars. I mean, obviously, this place I had to use a German car. We'll get into race cars and such, but that's gonna be fun. I know I'm definitely using a race car at Le Mans, my favorite race car that I own, because I did the El Capitan 200 mile endurance race in the Corvette. Corvette. I love Corvette. So it's a four day weekend. Woo. And also I'm no longer grounded, because my economics grade is passing. Yay! Pass. It was a 67. Oh, Jesus, I gave away my grade. Yeah, I have 67%. It's not failing for our school. It used to be. But it's a D plus now. Any way to get video game privileges back is by passing class. I'm four seconds ahead. So you get to hear some of the music that I have on my Spotify, like this song, Free Will Burden. It's a good song. The next song, I also have more, one of my absolute favorites from this game.
My favorite course is, um, I'm not going to tell you until we get there. I'll let you know what, uh, what course it is when we get there. For now, we need to focus on these. I'm very happy to have this game, because I played this game all the time when I was younger. Yeah, I just felt like playing it. Oh, the Tuscan Speed 6 has gotten second. It's Battle of TBR. I still have to do TBR's one main race. I really like this song. Here are the following one makes that I still have left. TVR, Nissan, Alfa Romeo, uh, Toyota. I have like four. Otherwise, I've completed every single one. TVR, Nissan, Toyota, and Dude, Alfa Romeo. Those are the only four that I have left. Otherwise, I've, I've beaten them all. Which I've never been able to do because uh, this AI in this game. Some of the one make races had forced me to buy really expensive cars. Like the Pugo one. Freaking had to buy the rally car. You wouldn't believe how many rage moments I had in those races. Another one was Opal. Opal was another one that I absolutely hated. Oh, wait. Have I done Mercedes-Benz yet? I don't know if I have or not. Oh, wait. I think so. I don't know. I'll have to check off camera. Duh. Anyway... Yeah, I sadly am to say that I will not be doing a let's play on this game because there are just some stuff in this game that are way too hard and would take absolutely forever to beat, like Mission 34, my gosh, the mission. Everybody hates Mission 34. One lap magic. This place. And a Mercedes SLR. I have to close like a minute and a half. In one lap. And it's the worst mission. By far in this game. Sakuba Wet Rally Hard is insanely difficult. Otherwise. Mission 34. Sakuba Wet Rally Hard. Have probably been the two hardest things in this game. I actually made it through the super license without issues. Uh, normally, I, I actually have never been able to make it through the super license in this game. Until I started becoming like a master racing person. A master driver, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. Basically saying I didn't struggle that bad. There were some parts I did struggle in, but not a whole lot. S15 was not as bad as it looked. This place, and a Mercedes touring car. I got a gold. First try. I815. One lap guide. And a Mercedes. Same car, but not without the touring car. It's like the black Mercedes Evolution 190 thingus. The one lap guide. First try, got a gold. I would have never been able to do that when I was younger. Never have been able to do that. So, I mean, I am also trying to produce more videos while I'm waiting for, like, my summer endurance league to come. Which is also going to be when I plan on doing 
the long endurances in this game, like the 24-hour races, the two nine-hour races, and even the eight-hour races. I think there's two nine-hour races. I don't know. There's an eight-hour race, there's a nine-hour race, there's three 24 hours, Jesus. There's a two-hour, 45-minute endurance race, there's like 200-mile races, 150-mile race. Uh... Two 1,000K races, four, uh, two four hours, two four hour races. Uh, let's see. Probably the next one I'm probably gonna do is like New York or something. I don't know. I seem to go with the easier endurances more because I know them better. Basically, what I'm also trying to get to you is that I've never done one time race in this game. As far as endurance wise. And with all the time in the world that I have now. Compared to when I was younger. I can do them now. When I was younger I was busy with so many different things. Like I didn't even have time to probably even complete 30 minutes of a race. Heck I didn't. I made it just about halfway through the first race in 1000 miles. So that's as far as I've gotten. And to be honest. I don't even know what car I used. It is good to be back, though. Reliving the childhood memories. With an amazing game. And, this is one of my top 10 most favorite video games of all time. I don't remember what number, but... It's a really good, it's a pretty good number. However, it's not number one because nothing can beat number one. It has a slight chance of crack in the top three, but it's not as good as the top three. You know, funny enough, I don't even remember what the whole top three was, honestly. Actually, yeah, I do. Uh, number three would be Sonic Mania Plus. God, I love that game. It's one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. Sonic R, which is a, a racing game on computer. I was a boss. I was balling at that game. Because, you know, I was actually one to beat. Because I was so... I was actually really hard to beat in that game. I was really good at it. If you play me, you probably wouldn't win. Probably more than likely with this. I don't know how good I would be at the game today's in today's standards. I don't know. We used to have like a cabinet full of like computer games that we could insert into the computer and like play like Scrabble Blast. God, that game was fun. That was one of my very first. That was one of the very first computer games I ever played. It really was. It was an amazing game. I would play it all the time. Let's see, another amazing game would be Pop It. My mom played that game all the time. Oh, another fun game would definitely be Monkey Quest. That was a that was a really fun game. You didn't need you didn't need a disc for that. I mean, I don't know where you would get it, but I do know that. That game was really fun, and I was at a really high level. I, I I enjoyed Monkey Quest. Unfortunately, we had to stop playing it because it kept crashing our computer, and that's why we've been ha we had to get another uh, another computer. Anyway, that was uh, the Nurburgring for arcade. So, yeah, reliving. Childhood memories, especially with like this game, Zero Gravity and Test Drive Unlimited. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fun to play with. Mm. And don't forget, remember that my Test Drive Unlimited playthrough is on April Fool's Day. I know, weird, right? Let's see what ne what's our next circuit to crack. That's Laguna Seca. It's actually not Master Race with Laguna Seca anymore, it's WeatherTech Laguna Seca. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big fat like. 
smash that notification bell for more amazing content. Uh, comment down below if you enjoyed the video. If you did, thank you. If you hated it, well, shame on you. This is an amazing game. It's my favorite Gran Turismo game of all time. Well, top three and favorite racing games of all time. Fortunately, Sonic Heart will never be cracked. Because, God, that game is amazing. Uh, is there anything I'm missing? Like, comment, sub subscribe. Subscribe for more amazing content. Uh, links will be in the description below for Blue Vibosities, the Sonic Central's YouTube channels. They are amazing. Follow me on Twitter. It's no longer at Hedgehog Team. I have completely changed my name. Completely. It's not Blue Team Hedgehog Gamer 27 anymore. Follow me on Twitter at HatcherFan27. There you go. After Billy Hatcher. Because Billy Hatcher is Lord Jesus. Well, Sega is concerned. Still waiting for that remake. I cannot wait for that. Anyway, follow me on Twitter at HatcherFan27 because I'm always active on Twitter. So, with that, don't worry, my YouTube channel is still the same name, Blue Teen Hedgehog Gamer 27. And with that, this is Blue Teen Hedgehog Gamer 27 saying peace out.